you know, I think until they get something more concrete, they really should not come out because that really just gets your hopes up that there's going to be something that's going to stop it for your loved one. Patsy Wood's husband, Tim, has had Alzheimer's for the past nine years. She's heard the promises of a cure since the beginning. She soon learned to take it all with a grain of salt. Every doctor that you talk to, even the doctors can't agree on what causes Alzheimer's or exactly, you know, what's going on. They've got to find out really what's causing and why this is happening because it's happening to too many. The numbers are increasing. I think it's what every 60 seconds or so somebody's diagnosed. Terry team runs a daycare center for Alzheimer's patients. She sees many families on a daily basis that don't understand everything about the disease. She's hoping today's announcement is the start of a nationwide education. Sometimes even families struggle with I can't believe this is happening and why is this happening and why are they doing this or why are they doing that and um, just trying to educate the, fa the families and giving them support for me is the most important thing. Patsy is cautious about the president's announcement. Decades of research have already been done to find the cure and she thinks it's a long way off. I don't think it would be realistic. I mean, you know, look at how long they've been working on cancer. 13 years would be um, very progressive to think that they would have Alzheimer's cured in 13 years. In Augusta County, Dave Beichnisch, WHSV News 3.